Welcome, gents. Understanding what makes a Sigma male tick is like unlocking a mystery most people don't even know exists. He's intense, fiercely independent, and doesn't fall in line with anyone's expectations. But while he's mostly unshakable, there are certain words and assumptions that push his buttons in ways few could imagine. He's not quick to show it, but there are things you can say that will make him go stone cold, or worse, shut you out entirely. Forget cliches or pop psychology. This isn't about what's typical. The Sigma male's triggers come from a deep sense of identity, purpose, and an unbreakable commitment to his own standards. This isn't a guy who's looking for validation or applause, and he doesn't have time for shallow flattery or mind games. So if you're curious, or brave enough, to learn what truly irks a Sigma male, buckle up. Here's what never to say if you want to stay on his good side, and why each point hits so hard. Elso gents, stay with me until we reach the final point, and be sure to drop your thoughts in the comments. Number 13. Suggesting he's missing out on life. Telling a Sigma male he's missing out on life is a surefire way to irritate him, even if he doesn't show it. He lives by his own standards, charting a course that doesn't need anyone else's approval or applause. To him, living doesn't mean following trends, attending social events, or engaging in shallow interactions. He values depth, authenticity, and purpose. And if something doesn't meet those criteria, he won't waste his time on it. When someone suggests he's missing out, it's not just annoying, it shows a complete disconnect from his values. People assume that life should be packed with experiences for the sake of it, but to a Sigma, doing things just to say he did them is pointless. He's not out to impress anyone. His world is full of things that genuinely matter to him, whether that's pursuing his goals, nurturing his interests, or spending time in solitude. Suggesting he's missing out overlooks all that and reduces life to a checklist of experiences he doesn't need to feel fulfilled. This comment not only underestimates his choices, but also implies he's clueless about what he wants. In reality, he's deeply aware of what brings him peace and meaning. To him, fulfillment isn't about fitting in or checking boxes, it's about living with intention. Telling him he's missing out only highlights how differently he sees the world and why he's perfectly happy with that. Number 12. Why don't you care more about what people think? Telling a Sigma male he should care more about what people think is like telling him to erase a core part of who he is. He values independence, not because it's trendy, but because it's the most authentic way for him to live. He doesn't wake up thinking about how to win others over, nor does he measure his worth by how well he fits in. When someone suggests he should care more about others' opinions, it doesn't just annoy him, it undermines the self-reliance he's carefully built over years. To a Sigma, the herd mentality is exactly what he avoids. He's not interested in adapting his personality or values to be more palatable or popular. He sees how most people follow trends, absorb others' opinions, and worry endlessly about fitting in. But he knows that worrying about everyone else's view is a fast track to losing himself. He's chosen a path that might look unconventional, but to him, it's the only way to live genuinely. By not caring about what others think, he's freed himself from the pressure to conform, allowing his decisions to reflect his true beliefs, not someone else's expectations. Suggesting he should be more concerned with others' opinions is insulting because it implies he's missed some secret to happiness. The truth is he's already found it. For a Sigma, happiness comes from living by his standards, not by bowing to the approval of people who don't understand him. Number 11 accusing him of being too ambitious. Calling a Sigma male too ambitious is a quick way to lose his respect. His drive doesn't come from a need for status or validation. It comes from a genuine commitment to his goals. When he sets his mind on something, he'll pursue it with intense focus and a standard of excellence that he holds himself to. To a Sigma, ambition isn't a passing phase or something he does to look impressive. It's a core part of who he is. Telling him he's too ambitious is like suggesting he's trying too hard at being himself. It's not just off base, it's insulting. Sigma males see their aspirations as a non-negotiable part of their life's purpose. If he's going after something, it's because it means something real to him, and he's calculated the risk, weighed the rewards, 
and decided it's worth his time. Telling him to tone it down or be more realistic is a foreign concept. His goals aren't up for discussion. People who throw around the term too ambitious usually don't understand what drives him. They see ambition as a ladder, but he sees it as an unbreakable commitment to himself. If anything, he finds that suggestion laughable because he knows exactly what he's capable of, and he's not interested in limiting that to fit anyone's comfort level. For a Sigma, ambition is about alignment with his values, and he won't apologize for it. Number 10. Commenting, you're too much in your head. Telling a Sigma male he's too much in his head isn't just off-putting, it's a complete dismissal of his greatest strength. His mind is his refuge, a place where he sorts through his thoughts, evaluates ideas, and builds his own understanding of the world. This mental space is where he finds clarity, solves problems, and sharpens his sense of self. So, when someone suggests that he's too much in his head, they're undermining the very part of him that he values most. For a Sigma, his introspective nature isn't a flaw, it's a skill he's honed over time. While others might rely on constant distractions or external input, he relies on his own mind for insight and guidance. His internal world is vast and complex, a place of deep thought and self-discovery. By implying he should snap out of it or spend less time thinking, others show a shallow understanding of what makes him who he is. They see his reflective nature as overthinking, when in reality it's his way of navigating life with purpose and integrity. A comment like this won't sit well with him because it shows a lack of respect for his way of being. To him, being in his head isn't a trap, it's freedom. It's his source of strength, creativity, and resilience. Suggesting that his mental depth is a problem isn't just misguided, it's insulting, and he won't forget it easily. Thank you for being a valued subscriber, gents. Your ongoing support is greatly appreciated and motivates us to continue creating meaningful content. We truly value your engagement. Number 9. Criticizing his intensity. Criticizing a Sigma male's intensity isn't just a jab. It's a blow to what he values most about himself. When he commits to something, he throws himself into it fully, not because he's trying to impress, but because he believes anything worth doing deserves nothing less than his all. His intensity isn't a phase or an exaggeration. It's the essence of how he approaches life. Every goal, every passion, every project is an extension of himself and holding back would feel like dishonoring his purpose. Some may see his intensity as overwhelming or even intimidating, but to a Sigma, that level of dedication is what separates empty pursuits from meaningful ones. He knows that true growth, accomplishment, and fulfillment come only when you're fully invested. So when someone criticizes him for being too intense, it's not just an annoyance. It's a dismissal of the core principles that guide him. It's essentially telling him he should do things halfway, which is a concept he simply can't accept. To him, intensity isn't a flaw. It's a strength. It's the driving force behind his resilience, his ambition, and his purpose. Criticism in this area only shows how little others understand his commitment to living deeply and authentically. His intensity isn't something he can just turn off, and he wouldn't want to. It's a sign of his passion and he'll keep embracing it, criticism or not. Number 8. Asking, why aren't you more social? Asking a Sigma male why he isn't more social shows a real misunderstanding of his nature. To him, social energy is something he controls not something he's obligated to expend just to fit in. Unlike many, he doesn't need constant interactions to feel validated or fulfilled. He's selective about where he invests his time and attention, knowing his solitude is where he finds focus, clarity, and peace. So when someone implies he should be more social, it's more than an offhand remark. It suggests he's somehow incomplete without constant interaction, which couldn't be further from the truth. This question feels dismissive to a Sigma because it underestimates the purpose behind his choices. He's not avoiding social situations out of discomfort or lack. He's choosing solitude because it aligns with his priorities. He knows that shallow socializing would drain his energy and distract him from what truly matters. To him, spending time alone or with a few close trusted people is a source of strength, not a limitation. 
By questioning his social preferences, people reveal their own limited perspective on what a fulfilling life looks like. A Sigma isn't concerned with meeting others' social expectations. He's focused on living by his own rules. He doesn't feel like he's missing out by being less social. In fact, he feels more grounded, capable, and self-aware. And that's something he wouldn't trade for all the socializing in the world. Number seven, assuming his aloofness is an act. Assuming a Sigma male's aloofness is an act completely misses the mark on who he is. His quiet, reserved nature isn't a strategy or a mask. It's simply how he operates. People often project their own insecurities or misunderstandings onto his calm demeanor, interpreting it as arrogance or affront. But for a Sigma, keeping to himself isn't a tactic to impress or distance. It's just his natural state. He's genuinely comfortable standing apart from the crowd, observing rather than participating, and thinking rather than broadcasting every thought. When someone accuses him of being fake or distant on purpose, it feels not just misguided, but disrespectful. A Sigma doesn't pretend to be anything he's not. He doesn't feel the need to adjust his personality to fit social norms, nor does he manipulate how others see him. He values authenticity deeply and expects others to do the same. So to imply that his demeanor is an act is to undermine one of his core values, being true to himself without pretense. This kind of assumption highlights how little people understand his motivations. He's not putting on a show or playing a role, he's just living on his own terms, choosing depth and authenticity over superficial engagement. For him, there's no point in pretending. If he's reserved, it's because he genuinely values his inner world and sees no need to perform for anyone. Number six, you should smile more. Telling a Sigma male to smile more might seem harmless, but to him it's anything but. He values authenticity and his emotions aren't for display. They're personal, intentional, and genuine. When someone suggests he should smile more, it's as though they're asking him to put on a mask just to make others feel more comfortable. To a Sigma, that's more than annoying. It's offensive. It implies his natural state isn't enough that he should adjust his demeanor to fit a more socially acceptable mold, which goes against everything he stands for. For a Sigma, a smile is something real, not a social obligation. He's not interested in plastering on expressions to appease expectations or to appear more approachable. He believes in showing emotion only when it feels right, not just to fill an awkward silence or meet someone's superficial standard. By pushing him to smile, Others reveal their own discomfort with his straightforward nature, which he finds unnecessary. This kind of comment also shows a lack of respect for his independence. A Sigma's emotional landscape is something he navigates alone with depth and purpose, not something to be adjusted on demand. Asking him to smile more feels dismissive of his seriousness and his right to choose how he expresses himself. If he's going to smile, it'll be because he means it, not because someone else thinks he should. Number five, pushing him to follow trends. Pushing a Sigma male to follow trends reveals a fundamental misunderstanding of who he is. Trends come and go, often fueled by fleeting popularity rather than genuine substance. For a Sigma, hopping on the latest bandwagon is the last thing on his mind. He values independence and authenticity, choosing to pursue what resonates with him rather than conforming to societal pressures. So when someone urges him to catch up, or get with the times. It feels less like friendly advice and more like a challenge to his sense of self. To him, suggesting he follow trends implies that he's somehow missing out or falling behind, which couldn't be further from the truth. He isn't behind. He's simply operating on his own timeline, one that prioritizes depth over superficiality. His decisions are grounded in personal values, not dictated by what's currently popular or trendy. He believes in the merit of true individuality, which is often at odds with the collective mentality that trends embody. Moreover, pushing him to conform raises questions about his independence. A Sigma doesn't seek validation from the latest social movements. He seeks meaning in his choices. He understands that trends often lack authenticity, which is precisely why he avoids them. He's comfortable being out of step with the crowd, embracing his own path instead of following others. 
That confidence is a cornerstone of his identity, and any attempt to sway him toward trends will only deepen his resolve to remain true to himself. Number 4. Telling him to lighten up. Telling a Sigma male to lighten up might seem harmless, but to him, it cuts deeper than most realize. Sigma males are wired to see life through a sharp, analytical lens, dissecting situations and motives with laser focus. They don't gloss over things, and they're not interested in taking life lightly. Every decision, every conversation, every quiet observation has weight to it. They've built a life around their need to understand things on a level most people overlook. So when someone tells them to lighten up, it feels like an insult, as if they're being asked to step out of themselves, to ignore the very instincts that drive them. For a Sigma, this mindset isn't something he puts on. It's woven into his identity, a tool he relies on to understand people and navigate a world that often feels shallow. To him, analyzing things deeply isn't a burden. It's his comfort zone. Dismissing this with a casual lighten up sends a message that his way of thinking isn't valid. It's as if he's being told to stop being himself and see the world on someone else's terms. A Sigma male doesn't take kindly to that. He sees this as someone trying to put him in a box, trying to reshape his perspective, and that's a boundary he doesn't let anyone cross. For him, his focus isn't something to lighten. It's a skill, a strength, and a way of life. Number 3. Questioning his solitude as a weakness. Suggesting that a Sigma male solitude might be a sign of weakness or loneliness is a complete misread of who he is. For him, solitude isn't something he settles for. It's something he values and seeks out. He chooses to step away from the noise, not because he's struggling to fit in, but because he thrives when he has time to reflect, think deeply, and engage with his own thoughts. Solitude is his peace, his recharging space, and a realm where he gains clarity. To him, solitude is empowering, a deliberate decision that lets him stay true to himself. When someone asks if he's lonely or hints that he should get out more, they miss the point entirely. A Sigma male sees this as an oversimplified view of what it means to be alone. Unlike those who find fulfillment in constant social interactions, he doesn't need external validation to feel complete. He's confident in his own company and finds strength in relying on himself for perspective and purpose. This choice to embrace solitude is a testament to his independence, not a cry for help or a sign he's missing out. Questioning his solitude not only underestimates his self-sufficiency but implies he's somehow incomplete without the crowd. In reality, his ability to be alone is a source of unmatched resilience and self-assuredness. He doesn't need the approval of others to feel fulfilled, and solitude is simply another facet of his freedom. Ember 2. Assuming his aloofness is an act. Assuming a Sigma male's aloofness is an act completely misses the mark on who he is. His quiet, reserved nature isn't a strategy or a mask, it's simply how he operates. People often project their own insecurities or misunderstandings onto his calm demeanor, interpreting it as arrogance or affront. But for a Sigma, Keeping to himself isn't a tactic to impress or distance, it's just his natural state. He's genuinely comfortable standing apart from the crowd, observing rather than participating, and thinking rather than broadcasting every thought. When someone accuses him of being fake or distant on purpose, it feels not just misguided, but disrespectful. A Sigma doesn't pretend to be anything he's not. He doesn't feel the need to adjust his personality to fit social norms, nor does he manipulate how others see him. He values authenticity deeply and expects others to do the same. So to imply that his demeanor is an act is to undermine one of his core values, being true to himself without pretense. This kind of assumption highlights how little people understand his motivations. He's not putting on a show or playing a role, he's just living on his own terms choosing depth and authenticity over superficial engagement. For him, there's no point in pretending. If he's reserved, it's because he genuinely values his inner world and sees no need to perform for anyone. Number 1. Criticizing his lack of empathy. Criticizing a Sigma male for his perceived lack of empathy is a fundamental misinterpretation of how he processes emotions. 
Unlike those who wear their feelings on their sleeves, a Sigma operates with a measured analytical approach. He's not driven by raw emotion, but by thoughtful consideration, which can make his reactions seem distant or detached. But assuming this is a lack of empathy misses the mark. He feels just as deeply as anyone else, but he chooses to engage with emotions in a way that aligns with his principles, calmly and carefully. Labeling his composure as apathy is both unfair and inaccurate. A Sigma doesn't rush to display his emotions for validation or social acceptance. When he does engage emotionally, it's intentional and purposeful. His approach might not fit the traditional model of empathy, but that doesn't mean he's indifferent. Instead, he values understanding over outward displays, seeking to grasp the core of a situation before responding. It's a deeper, quieter kind of empathy that doesn't rely on grand gestures or comforting cliches. To criticize his demeanor as unfeeling is to ignore the nuance in his emotional intelligence. A Sigma's strength lies in his ability to remain composed, especially when emotions run high. It's not about shutting down or not caring, it's about not allowing emotions to dictate his actions impulsively. His empathy is there, but it's expressed through thoughtful actions, not surface-level reactions, which many overlook or misinterpret. Understanding what triggers a Sigma male requires stepping away from assumptions and seeing the world through his unique perspective. He's not interested in following the crowd or bending to social norms. His independence is deeply ingrained, and any attempt to undermine that will be met with quiet resistance or outright dismissal. What others might see as quirks or stubbornness, he views as the core of his identity. His detachment isn't aloofness, and his intensity isn't overkill. They're reflections of his commitment to living life on his own terms. Telling him to change, soften, or conform is like telling him to compromise what makes him who he is. He's not out to impress or to be understood by everyone and he certainly doesn't need approval to validate his choices. When faced with judgment, criticism, or pressure to fit in, he won't argue. He'll simply distance himself, retreating to the independence that fuels him. It's not about being defensive. It's about staying true to what matters most to him. The key to understanding a Sigma male is accepting that he won't fit into a neat, conventional box. He values authenticity, integrity, and depth, and any attempt to reshape him into something more palatable will fail. His triggers aren't about being sensitive. They're about guarding the freedom and authenticity he's worked hard to maintain. Those who respect that will see the depth of his character. Those who don't will never get close enough to know. Thank you, gents, for tuning in, and see you in our next video. Bye for now, and God bless.